Gentlemen, today it's all about helping you develop a little more man cleavage. We're going on a little field trip. I'm taking you to the gym with me where I'm going to show you my four, not one, not two, not three, but four signature exercises that I feel, in my humble opinion, are the best, best four exercises for developing a thick, built, massively striated and, well, actually, no, the striations come from dieting. If you need a diet in order to lose body fat to see the striations and cuts in your chest, there's the Alpha M Diet Plan. It's totally free and listed and linked in the description. These four exercises are what I can attribute to my chest development. Um, now, I can already hear and read the comments, bro. You're weak. These exercises suck. And you're never going to get big and thick and massive if you're not doing bench press. Because you're not going to find bench press. Bro, if you want to develop a big, thick upper chest, you got to do incline dumbbell press. Nope, there's none of that either. Lower chest, you want one of those? <laughs> decline. Yeah, the range of motion is like this, but I'm telling you, it works like a charm. <laughs> nope, none of that either. These four are my go-to favorites. Gentlemen, for whatever reason, these have worked incredibly well for me, and I'm assuming if they work for me, because I'm no genetic freak, <laughs> definitely not. They may work for you. In my personal opinion, there is absolutely no better bang for your chest development buck than a good old fashioned dumbbell fly. Now I know a lot of dudes are like, yo, if it's not bench press, it's not building. In my experience, my experience, I have seen the best results in my chest development and basically striations because I do a lot of dumbbell flies. If you use a weight that's manageable, but you go nice and deep, you're really getting into that chest muscle and breaking it down. It looks like this. The trick to an amazing dumbbell fly is that stretch. You want to make sure that your elbows are staying back and they're not rotating down and in, all right? If you do that, you're going to have shoulder issues and problems. Great stretch, pause, tss, up, nice and slow. Ah, right there. Body weight dips are another one of those incredible bang for your fitness and development buck exercises. Most fitness centers have an assisted dip or pull up machine. It's got this little knee pad, you kneel on this, you do your exercise, it's actually plate loaded so you can actually reduce your body weight. As you get stronger, you move up, but this is a great way to really get an amazing stretch and work that chest. Down, pause, elbows out, not back, and up right there now if this is too easy for you you can also use one of those weight belts with a chain and actually add weight to yourself or you can grab a dumbbell and hold it in your feet but there are ways to make this more challenging if you need it me i always like to try to shoot for four sets of 20 reps Ugh. at the end of a workout this bad boy is destructive Ugh. Ugh. Cable flies, baby. An amazing exercise. You get a great stretch, You're very similar to the pec deck, similar motion to the fly, but once again, you're seeing a theme. It's all about that stretch. Remember, it's not about how strong you are. It's not about how fast you do it. It's all about control, stretch, and feeling that muscle working. Woo. This is killer. Ugh. Now, for those of you out there that are new to the whole bodybuilding muscle development game and you haven't really developed all the stabilizing muscles required to do the dumbbell flies and the cables and even the dips, a great machine is the pec deck. Now, this isn't just for people that are new. The pec deck is a machine that I use every workout as well because it really lets you focus on the chest. It takes all the stabilization required to keep the dumbbells upright of dumbbell flies totally eliminates that because it is a machine, but it still works incredibly well. Right here. All right, notice my elbows are up, okay? They don't drop. If they drop, you're going to potentially hurt your shoulder. Elbow up, squeeze. Nice stretch and squeeze. You really can feel this because like I said, it allows you to isolate 
your chest so much because you don't need to use those stabilizing muscles in your shoulder, shoulder girdle, and all those fancy places when you're using dumbbells or even the cables. Oh, right here. The pec deck, it doesn't get the respect and the love I feel it deserves. It's a great exercise, a great machine, lots of adjustments so you can set yourself up perfectly. One thing, make sure that the seat is low enough. I see a lot of guys that actually have the seat too high and they get all out of whack. You wanna make sure that the plane at which your arm is moving is right here, all right? Not up here, not down here, right here. Even right there, okay? Even with the floor, right there. That's it. Those four exercises I work into each and every chest workout. I throw in some bench, I do some other exercises. I also vary the rep range, I vary the weight, I vary the order in which I perform each of the exercises. Gentlemen, your body is smart. If you do the same workout every day, you go into the gym or every week, your body will adapt. It doesn't want to break down muscle tissue, it's like, yo! I want to keep it. I don't want it that because you're actually injuring the muscle, technically. By switching it up, you keep it guessing. You throw it off balance. You're like, yo, I thought you were doing flat bench first. Nah, bro, I'm kicking it with flies. Gentlemen, it's all about muscle confusion. Confused? Don't be. This is just my opinion. But what I would say to those naysayers and to those people who are actually interested in trying something that works, throw these four exercises into your next chest workout. Do them, work them, see how you feel. My guess is you're gonna be pretty sore if you're anything like me, because I've been lifting for uh, the majority of my life, right? And I still, each and every chest day, get sore the next day, which means I'm doing something, breaking down those muscle fibers, releasing lactic acid, and that's what is actually causing you to be sore. So down below this video, along with the Alpha M Diet Plan, you are also going to find a link to my website, IamAlphaM.com, where in case you guys didn't know this I have hundreds of videos on fitness I've got hundreds of workouts I've got a ton of different information over there for you to enjoy totally free but since this video is all about the chest and your spectacular development I'm gonna link to the chest video section down below so go ahead give these four exercises a try see how you feel you may be pleasantly and painfully surprised and on your way to amazing man cleavage